I've always been interested in the natural world. So my mother was a geologist and a botanist as well, and took me out for walks ever since the time I was, you know, ever since I could walk. <laughs> and I learned, would learn all the rocks and all the plants and all the animals every time we'd go out on vacation. But as an undergraduate, I actually was a pre-med. I wanted to be a medical doctor because I wanted to sort of do something good for humanity. Um, and then in my senior year, I spent a summer doing field work up in the Sierra Nevada mountains with this butterfly uh, and spent three months camping out in a tent, waking up every morning to birds singing and then going out in the field and working you know, with the earth and with the caterpillars and the butterflies and I thought this is what I want to do the rest of my life. I suppose the other big reason that I, I'm not a medical doctor but a field biologist is because it, even if you're doing medical research, which is probably what I would have gone into, you're stuck in a lab all day. So you're, and that's what people think of as, as a scientist. They're in a lab with a white coat and beakers of things all around. That never did appeal to me. Uh, my work, on the other hand, is very dirty. I, I'm out in the mountains, camping out in a tent for months at a time. I dig in the dirt, I lie in the dirt, I eat the dirt, it's, and it's wonderful because it, I don't think I could ever go back to working in a sterile lab environment after having been out in the field because you really get to know the pulse of the species that you're working with, you get an intuition for them, you get to know what makes them happy, what, what they like, what they don't like, and I think it'd be very difficult to interpret, well, the kind of work I do without having that intuition and you can't get that in the lab.